Atenaratata Katoa. Uh, today is Thursday, the 11th of August 2022, uh, and we'll, we will begin uh, with oral questions today. Question number one in the name of Helen White to the Minister of Finance, um, asking a very common question to the Minister of Finance on what recent reports has he seen on the New Zealand economy. Uh, question number two in the name of Nicola Willis, also to the Minister of Finance, uh, and she is asking a question uh, around what date that uh, he received advice on the cost of living payments. Um, question number three from Anahila Kanongataha Suisuiki uh, to the Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage, uh, and she is asking... Uh, the Minister about what announcements she has made around uh, supporting jobs in the arts sector. Uh, Chris Bishop uh, will ask the Minister of Housing question number four and his question is around current financial modelling um, uh, for kainga order under its obligations in the Crown Entities Act 2004. Uh, Angie Warren Clark will ask the Minister for Women question number five, uh, and her question is regarding um, uh, what the government has done to ensure greater diversity and representation of women on public boards. Uh, question number six is from Dr. Shane Riti to the Minister of Health. Uh, and he is asking the Minister about the impact of uh, health campaigns um, re uh, recently run um, and how many people have been employed under the Kiwi Health at Jobs Critical Care Nursing Campaign. Um, Chloe Swarbrick uh, will ask the Minister of Finance question number seven uh, and she's asking about what reports he has seen um, with relation to the impacts of monetary and phys uh, fiscal policy throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Shannon Halbert will ask question number eight to the Minister of Transport, uh, and his question is about what reports the Minister has received about the clean car discount scheme. Uh, Brooke Van Velden will ask the Minister of Health question number nine, uh, and her question is asking how many uh, nurses are currently needed uh, to eliminate shortages in the health system. Uh, Venushi Walters will ask question number 10 to the Minister for Diversity, Inclusion and Ethnic Communities. Uh, and that question is about uh, what the government's um, ongoing support for ethnic communities are. Uh, Erica Stanford asks uh, question number 11 to the Associate Minister of Education, School Operations and is asking whether the Minister stands by her statements and actions. Uh, Dr Anai Nehru Leavasa will ask question number 12 to the Associate Minister of Edu Education, Pacific Peoples uh, and his question is asking what the government has done for Pacific peoples since the delivery of the formal uh, Dawn Raids apology last year. Um, after um, oral questions, um, the, um, uh, the House will consider uh, the third reading of the Overseas Investment Forestry Amendment Bill the name of the Honourable David Parker. Uh, this bill aims to ensure that overseas investments that result in the uh, conversion of farmland and other uh, land to forestry benefits New Zealand. Um, uh, following um, that uh, bill, we will have further consideration of the oversight of Oranga Tamariki uh, System and Children and Young People's Commission uh, bill, uh, and if we have enough time after that, we will consider uh, the Screen Industry Workers Bill second reading. 
uh, that will bring us to the end of uh, proceedings uh, for today and the House will adjourn until Tuesday the 23rd of August 2022. Kia ora mai tātou.